Welcome to the video. In this quick tip we're going to talk about how to configure a Spectrum DX7 so that you can have more than three modes available on your APM. Now this process will actually be similar for a lot of different radios but every radio system has its own idiosyncrasies about how you set up mixes so that you can have more than three modes. The reason that we're doing it this way in this video is, is this is in direct response to a request for a subscriber. And as I have my DX7 set up to have more than three modes on the model that we're looking at here, I thought it would be useful to just make this video to show what I've done to make it happen. If you are interested to look at your own radio, then hopefully it will give you an idea of what you need to have a look at. So first of all, let me show you in Mission Planner how it's working. So if we go into Initial Setup and we go into Flight Modes, then here we can see with my DX7 radio that I have, I have the three standard settings on my three position switch. The first is stabilize, the second is loiter, and the third is return to launch, which is my ODIR switch, which is always the top of that three position switch. So again, I have stabilize, middle position is loiter, top is return to launch. However, using the same DX7, I can flick into stabilize, or by flicking a second auxiliary switch, I can go into altitude hold, then I can go into loiter, and then I can flick that switch again, go into auto, and finally that top position is returned to launch again. And the reason I've done it that way is rather than have six modes, I think having that top position for the three position switch being my ODIA return to launch means that no matter where any of the other switches are, I always have that fail safe I can count on. So let me bring up the video of my DX7 and we'll have a look at what I'm actually doing to get those five different modes here, but you could do it six if you really wanted to. Now at the top of my DX7 we have the three position switch here on the left hand side and we have my auxiliary two switch here as well. Now these are the two switches that I have the mix on to give me these different modes. So the standard mode without auxiliary two playing a part is stabilize, loiter, and return to launch. If I flick on auxiliary two, then those three modes become altitude hold, auto, and return to launch. So now we've seen that, let's start looking at the radio menu in detail and we'll see what I've done to make that work. So here's my trusty DX7. Me and this radio have been through a lot. I've had this thing for um, over seven years now. It's been replaced recently with the DX9, um, but as this is what the subscribers asked for, I'm going to show it on this one. So here is the model that we've been using. Uh, we've just looked at the demo. It is set up for helicopter. The reason for that, it allows me to set the pitch levels on the three position switch. If we jump into the menus, You'll notice that the endpoints of the pitch channel have been changed slightly. I've reduced the high end to 70%. That just makes sure that no matter where the switch is, I always get return to home as that final mode. You'll see that auxiliary two has got the standard endpoints, 100 and 100, so I'm not doing anything clever with that. You'll also see as I scroll through that the pitch settings are zero, 50% and 100 for the three positions on the pitch switch. So that's pretty standard stuff too. And then you'll notice that we have a mix. And the mix is we're going to mix auxiliary two onto the pitch channel at minus 40% when it's in its down position. So let me show you very quickly how you set that mix up. So we're gonna create a new mix and then I'll uh, get rid of it once we've done the video. So we're gonna go on mix two. First of all, we're going to select the channel that we want to mix. So we're going to select auxiliary two, then we're going to go into and select the channel that we want it mixed onto, which is pitch, which is right. Next, we're going to select the rate we want, and you'll notice that depending on where the uh, switch auxiliary two switch is, depends on where the arrow is pointing, and we can change the value using up and down. And then we need to make sure that we're using the switches on so that it, the switch is actually turning on and off the mix that we want and have zero offset. You might have to play with the offset a little bit on your radio depending on how it's set up to make it work perfectly. And that's how you do it. 
and we just clear that because we don't want that mix. So that is the mix that I use that's worked brilliantly here. If you have um, a way that you do it that is different from this and um, potentially even simpler, I would be fascinated to hear about it. I'm always interested in learning how to do things better on radio equipment. So hopefully that helps those of you that have a DX7, have a similar menu system and are looking at flying an APM and want more than three modes. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and happy flying.